What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I hope you like this video. Well, we finally made it. We at the season finale of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now, I know y'all have already seen the trailer for the reunion. Now, some way I missed the episode. I don't, I don't think I caught last episode. I tried to go into my on-demand. It wouldn't pick it up. So, something must have happened in the last episode as far as Chris and, and Marceau and this whole situation with Marceau's alibi when he went to Atlanta. Some way I missed the scene. And then it was something with him and Letitia having a bad date night and Letitia got mad at him. Sorry. I don't know what happened to the episode. So, that's why y'all never got that review. Whatever. But, let's get into this finale. Melody is having a massage and she invites Stormy over. Look, y'all, well, y'all already think I don't like Melody, so it don't matter. And it's and it's a thing. I, it's not that I dislike Melody, but I just call what I see and how I see it. So anytime I say something negative about Melody, everybody got something to say in the comments. So go on and just put it in there. But Melody is irritated with Martel because she says that uh, Coleslaw done shared her private medical business online. This goes on for the whole episode that Melody, you know, after they had that great time down to Florida, Melody is mad because she feels like Arion went online and told her private business about her having COVID. Listen, they end up having a huge fight at the end of the episode. And Martel says what I'm saying right now. And I said this as soon as I saw it on the episode. Melody, how in the world can you be mad? Because Martel told Arion that you had COVID because he was around the child. He was around his kid, which includes Knox. Whether you like it or not, whether you cool with it or not, it includes Knox. So he can't control what the hell Arion does online. And she was like, well, Martel is just a puppet master and he, he create." I don't think so in this situation. And I know y'all ain't going to agree with me. But even if that was the case, he still wasn't wrong. Listen, COVID is what it is. And we've all been dealing with it. And let me tell you something. If I was around somebody that had been exposed to COVID and they did not tell me or did not tell me and my child was exposed to COVID and they did not tell me, we got a problem. Now, y'all ain't got to like Arion. Y'all don't have to like the situation. Y'all don't have to like how Knox got here. But at the end of the day, Martel was around Melody, who ended up with COVID. He was around his kids. He was around Knox. He told Knox's mom so that she could make the proper precautions to protect her and protect her child. He wasn't wrong for that. Now, if Arion takes that information and goes live and shares it, he can't control that. And unfortunately, because he made that decision to sleep with an immature simpleton like Coleslaw, that's what he going to get for the next 18 years. Now, that part we could be mad about. But in this situation, Martel didn't do anything wrong. I'm sorry. Y'all can disagree, and I'm sure y'all can come up with 5,000 reasons why Martel is right. Now, Martel wrong about a lot of stuff. I mean, why Martel is wrong. Now, Martel is wrong about a lot of stuff, but in this one, I can't go with y'all on that. He had every right to tell that woman that he had been exposed to COVID and it came from Melody. He had every right to do that. Um, I don't forgot the rest of what I was going to say, child. That's I'm sure I'll remember by the end of this episode. Anyway, she said that she probably not going to go to Martell's having his um launch, his wine launch in Huntsville, and she probably not going to go because she no longer wants to, you know, blah, blah, blah. They they back with, they right back at square one, damn it. They went to the beach. They had a whole week or weekend or how many days they was there. They had a decent time. I ain't going to say they had a great time, but they had a decent time. And now we right back where we started. And I'm over it, and I'm sick of it, and I'm tired of it. And at this point, Melody, you're not as healed as you say you are. You're not as at peace as you say you are. Because if you can't see, because reverse the situation. I want everybody that's defending Melody to reverse that situation. If Coleslaw had caught COVID and Martel had been around her and the baby and didn't tell Melody, come on now. We already know how that would go. Anyway, Martel is setting up his event. Um, Destiny comes through being messy, talking about, um, yeah, you and your new boo and Melody did interviews basically saying that she's happy for Martel and she was like, everybody acting like, now on this one, I was with Melody 100%. She said, why everybody acting like me seeing pictures of Martel with another woman is an issue. I saw pictures of Martel with another woman when we were still married. So what's the big deal now? I'm happy for him. She seems like a nice person. Don't have nothing bad to say about her. I wish him the best. 
Now listen, I don't know what y'all want from Melody. That's the best answer she could possibly give. And okay, did she throw a little shade? Sure, she threw a little shade, but I think she's entitled to throw that shade. I would have threw that shade too, okay? So Martel was like, how dare she? What do you mean, how dare she? How dare you have an affair for 10 years with a whole nother woman? How dare you? You mean, how dare she? I think in the grand scheme of things, she was very nice about how she answered that question. See how I can be fair? Y'all see? See how I can be fair? Um, Chris was there, and Chris said something about Marceau using him as an alibi, and he didn't really appreciate it. Like I said, I feel like I missed something last week. Look, at the end of the day, at this point, I'm about as sick as Marceau and, a, and him cheating on Letitia as I am about Melody and, Mar and Martel fight, um, arguing. At this point, either you believe the man is faithful to his wife or you don't. But I'm sick of that. Unless y'all got some proof, you can show me. I ain't talking about the back of his head, land in no hotel room, which it might have been him. I don't know. But I need something. I need something. If not, can we just stop? Really? Now, it looks like it's a whole part of the reunion, so whatever. We see um, Letitia and Marceau. Letitia want her and Marceau to dress alike at the at the um, wine event. Talking about something. Well, I want everybody to know that we're together. Why, Mar? Why? See, Letitia, this is why people say that you are in that you are insecure and that you are jealous of Mel. Now, everybody and their cousin know that Mel and Martel dressed alike. It was it was quite um, what's the word I'm looking for? Quite high school to me, but they did it. Now, all of a sudden, you and you want you and Marcel to dress alike, talking about something, so it doesn't look like we came from two separate places. Girl, everybody know y'all came together. Who are you trying to prove it to? What, what, what is the point that you're making? Everybody know that you came together. Anyway, so Marceau said, well, y'all ain't going to do nothing anyway when we get there, except for the ladies are going to go to the side and start, uh, and start arguing, because that's what y'all always do. I mean, he ain't wrong. And then, of course, the producers show all the flashbacks of the arguments that the women done got into at these events. I mean, you ain't wrong. Then they start talking about Martell and his new boo and whether Martell is going to bring Sheree or whether Melody's going to come. Yada, yada, yada. Same stuff, different day, child. Again, this this season could have been over four episodes ago if you want to know the truth of the matter. Shit, probably five episodes ago. Um... So we see the event. Everybody shows up except for Mel. And Martel says that him and Sheree decided it was, wasn't a good idea for her to come because they wanted to focus to stay on the wine and not be about them. That was actually smart. I don't know if that was the truth, but that's actually smart um, because um, I think there might be some other reasons why Sheree wasn't there. But that was a good excuse I came up with. The ladies all show up and they look nice. Everybody looks cute and all that good stuff. Um... Kimmy shows up with Maurice, and um, she looks good. Oh, Kimmy looks good. I'm, I love me some Kimmy. Um, she ends up t pulling the ladies aside and telling the ladies what's going on and telling the ladies that she had breast cancer and, you know, uh, why she's been kind of, you know, aloof and, 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 and whatever. And, of course, all the ladies said the same thing. You know, well, I know you ain't going to say nothing, but if you need me, I'm here. Um... Somehow or another, they was having a conversation with Tiffany and Destiny. And Tiffany always got to be a damn instigator. Like, I really hope she don't come back next year. She always has to be an instigator. She was talking about, well, are you and Mel good? I mean, I, I mean, she said that y'all y'all hung out. And Destiny was like, I don't know what you mean by good. If you mean that we can be in a room together and it'd be cool, sure. Well, I mean, I mean, y'all y'all are friends though, right? I mean, y'all, I mean, like, y'all. Girl, she gave you the answer to the question. I don't know what else you want her to say. She said that because they are mature women, they can be in a room together and it don't have to be no beef. But if you expecting them to be best friends, that's not going to happen. That's not what it is. It's probably never going to be that again. Then Destiny said, well, you want to know the truth of the matter. When we was at the peace party, you was the one that got him a nurse. Real talk, for real, for real. Tiffany was like, what? Oh, oh, girl, oh. Martel and Chris had a very confusing conversation about this alibi situation and what he told his wife and what pictures posted and whatever. I Like I said, I feel like I missed a whole scene in that. But at the end of the day, Martel, I mean, Marcel said that he was being an asshole because he didn't like the way Letitia approached him. So he know he answered the questions real effed up. Okay, well, I'm glad you're admitting it. And I'm glad that you're admitting that you, you were mad because you felt like you didn't like the way she was approaching you and she, you didn't like the fact that she was questioning you. I mean, I can respect that you was being honest, but anyway. 
Martel gives his speech. This time he actually wrote something down, thank God, even though he fumbled through that. But listen, some people just get nervous in front of people. And I feel like Martel is one of those people that he just gets nervous talking in front of people. But I can respect the fact that he wrote down what he had to say um, so that he didn't forget nothing. And he gave his grandmother a very beautiful dedication, which I'm sure made everybody happy. But am I the only one that felt like that picture of his grandmama looked just like his mama? If that woman did not spit his mama out, Martel mama looked like his mama's, his grandmama's twin. She spit her out even down to the gap in there too even though me and my daddy got the same gap too but it was a mess i mean it was good then um we saw marceau talking to Jalen, which i can appreciate because i don't feel like we saw a lot of people talking to Jalen, asking him how he's doing and how he's dealing with it and Jalen was like look you know i've never really seen my mother cry so, you know, the first time I saw her cry was, you know, at her wedding. And then I saw her cry on the show. And it really bothered me when I saw her crying on the show because she don't really cry. And then with everything going on, he said, you know, some days I call her and I talk to her and everything. And then other days, her I can't get her on the phone or, or Maurice on the phone. And that bothers me. And I can respect that. And I feel like he needs to have a conversation with them. And I know sometimes they maybe just be exhausted. Sometimes maybe she just doesn't feel like talking. Chemo is not easy. And it's a process. And I understand that Jalen is trying to be understanding. But baby, he an only child. And, it's all, and it was him and his mama for a long time. And that's going to be a hard thing for, um, for him to let go of. But I can appreciate that Marcel went and had the conversation with him. Because a lot of times people do forget about the kids especially when they're adult children right um then we had this whole blow up with melody and mark Mar and Mar and martel i swear i'm sick of them martel showed up and melody wouldn't let him in the, ho in the house and martel was like are you serious like it's 100 degrees out here like i'm not about to basically i'm not about to film this scene with you in the sun like i can't come in the house and melody was like no and Marcel was, Marcel was like, you know what? I tell you what, then I'm done. I'm not going to sit here and do this. Like, that's ridiculous. I thought we were in a better space. I thought we had, you know, gotten to a point. Like, really? You really not going to let me come in? And she was like, Mar Martel, have I ever invited you in my house? Yes, you have, Melody. Y'all filmed the whole scene. Remember last, um, earlier this season or last season? When you, that you did make him stand in the hallway with, with your mama. Remember that's when your mama, um, um, approached him about some of the stuff he said? Remember that? He was in the house, Mel, in the house, waiting for the kids to come downstairs. Um, I felt like that was petty, that Melody wouldn't let him in the house. Um, and I ain't mad at Martel. It was, he said it was hot as hell. Even though you did have them damn hot-ass jeans and boots on, you could have had on some shorts and a t-shirt. But, you know, I just, I just feel like both of them can be very childish at times. Just really childish. So then Martel is in the car calling her and she's standing on top of the steps answering. And then she comes down there to talk and she tells him, no, you can't come in the house. So then he pulls off and production must have told him, get his ass back there because they got to finish filming the scene. So he ends up coming back and then they get to arguing again. And what did Mar what does Martel do every time he gets mad at, at Melody and he get his back up against the wall? He starts throwing out the stuff. Oh, well, I don't want to. She said she does it, too. She said, well, last week you just said you wanted to get back with me and I was your soulmate. She always does that and throws out that. So then what does Martel always throw out? All the men you've been with, I wouldn't want to be with you. All the bodies I know you got. And then that's what Melody was like. And this conversation is over. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't have continued the conversation either. Honestly, I think both of them are immature and simple. And what it just shows me is that neither one of y'all have moved, have healed as much as y'all pretend like y'all have. Martel said he'd been in therapy for a year. Melody said she done found her happy place and her inner peace. Neither one of y'all are as healed as y'all claim to be if y'all could just set each other off like that. That was ridiculous. And stupid. And I'm done. I'll see y'all at the reunion.